Onondaga County Controller Bob Antonacci, he's gearing up for a debate this week against Democratic incumbent Tom DiNapoli. The debate, it is set for Wednesday. Andrew joins us with more on the battle for Controller. Rich, Bob Antonacci is an accountant and a lawyer, active in politics since 2007. That year he was first elected County Controller and he was re-elected in 2011. But Antonacci's biggest challenge may have little to do with his specific qualifications. He's a Republican running statewide in New York, a state with a massive Democratic advantage in voter registration. He's also getting little help from the rest of the GOP statewide ballot, which may explain why Antonacci trails Tom DiNapoli by nearly 30 points. Rich? Thank you very much, Andrew. And here's my conversation with Mr. Antonacci. All right, you're good with math. You, uh, you've seen the numbers. You're less than five weeks out, and the polls got you down by about 30 points. And uh, the top of the ticket's probably not going to do you any favors, let alone fundraising numbers. So how do you close the gap here, and how do you kind of fight a tide where you almost got to, you know, break apart from, you know, the other guys in the ticket on the Republican side if you're going to break through? Well, I, I think the ticket is unified. Uh, we're getting along. Uh, I, I love my running mates. They're all good guys. They're, they're quality public servants. And, you know, there's a long time to go. Uh, there's, there's an eternity between now and November 4th. So I know we're down in 30 points. Hey, we're closing the gap. I mean, I think we were down worse than that when I first got into the race. But we're going we're gonna to have a really good wave year. I think the issues are on our, our side. And we're going to fight right through November 4th and uh, take our message to the people. You know, it's an open secret that um, uh, the current controller and the governor uh, don't get along very well. And in fact, uh, many have argued that Mr. Dinopoli has been a major thorn in the governor's side. Does it in any way mitigate the argument why there needs to be fresh blood there if the many people say that he is a check and balance in the governor currently, even though they're from the same party? I don't think that Tom DiNapoli's been enough of a thorn in the governor's side. As a matter of fact, I think he's pretty weak when it comes to keeping an eye on the administration and, for that matter, the legislature and his chief benefactor, Shelley Silver. I think Tom should be doing a lot more audits of, of the legislature and the governor. And it doesn't matter who's in office on January 1st. As the controller, I will audit. Albany. Albany is broken. It needs to be fixed. And whether it's people think that they need to have a Republican keeping an eye on a Democratic governor or they just like my skill set, when we're there on January 1st, things will change. Give me a material difference if you are a controller um, rather than the current incumbent uh, that New Yorkers would actually see as it relates to the accounting of New York. Well, I'm a, I'm a certified public accountant, which in and of itself, I bring a, a completely different skill set to the, to the job. But I'm a, I'm a much stronger leader. I, I've elected into the campaign finance program when Mr. Napoli chose not to elect into it after he had asked it for years. And that says a lot about his leadership. Uh, I, I will audit the legislature and I will audit the governor and I will work on economic development initiatives that will bring real jobs to, to New York State. As a certified public accountant and a former small business owner, I understand what it takes to make a payroll. I understand what it takes to pay your utility bills, which are outrageously high in New York State. I understand how, how tough it can be to operate a business. So I think that's immediately what taxpayers are going to see, and they're going to see somebody that truly cares about moving New York State in the right direction and understands how tough it is out there. Hey, there's been some arguments, and I've heard it from, um, uh, from a, a lot of different folks, both in front of and also uh, when the, the microphones are off, that say, you know, where's the state GOP? Uh, you can argue uh, the governor and certainly the ticket should be more vulnerable than at least the polls show they are. But whether it's not that you're getting money um, on, from, the Fed, from the national level, from the uh, GOP, or also from um, a good friend of the show, Ed Cox, and the folks at the state GOP, has that been missing? Uh, did you expect more support this far into the campaign than you've gotten? Well, we're not wealthy enough to be Democrats. I mean, that's where all the big money and the special interest money is going. We're taking it to the people. We're grassroots. I think the GOP structure for the resources that they have available has done a, an admirable job. Yeah, would I like to have been done with the campaign financing program by now? Absolutely. I never thought it would be this difficult to raise the money to qualify for the matching program. But it just goes to show how disenfranchised people are with politics. We've taken our message to just regular folks that go to work every morning and care about about their kids and want good education, but they're disenfranchised with politicians, and that's why it's also been tough to raise money. But as far as the GOP party goes, we're going to have an amazing victory on November 4th, and then we'll go from there. And finally, a question I ask a lot of folks in this election cycle. Uh, given 
the distrust of the general public, uh, given how frustrating and dysfunctional government can be, not just in New York, but nationally. You got a good job. Why do you want to do this? <laughs> uh, I think I said earlier today that anybody that runs for office has got to have their head examined. I, I don't know what the choice is. D is the choice that you curl up and, and cry and die on the vine and let New York State continue to crumble? Or do you get in and try to save New York? I, I'm a firm believer that being educated in New York, growing up in New York, being a local official in New York, I. I really want to give those resources and that energy back to the people of New York because we really can be the Empire State again, but our economic policies are keeping us in dead last, our philosophy towards business is keeping us in dead last, and it's either move, which I'm not going to, or change it. So I, I'm proud that I'm giving the state of New York a choice in, in this election, and I think it's a great choice. A certified public accountant, attorney at law, that understands finances, that understands how to grow jobs, has been there in the trenches with, with these type of issues. So we're gonna, we're gonna give the people a choice, and it'll be up, for them, up to them to decide. And on that note, wish you the best of luck, Mr. Attenacci. Thank you so much for a few minutes. Thank you. When we come back, RFL will wrap things up.